Welcome back to another video guys. I am currently in we just made it out of the yurt after spending a night there And I am heading out of Arizona and I'm currently in Winslow, Arizona taking a little breather in the back of the truck here I, I'm gonna go in there into the Walmart pick up some supplies and more groceries And then I'm gonna make my way over to Petrified Forest National Park I've heard some cool things about it. it's just a tiny little kind of half day national park and go check it out as it's on the way out there was actually there was a couple other places I want to check out but they were of course they just recently made it so you have to pay a big mission there was the meteor crater which is a huge like crater from a meteor one of the best intact in the world and I really want to see but it was like 30 bucks and I don't really have the time for it so I was kind of bummed by that but so I'm going to check out the National Park, spend the half, the, most of the day there. There's a couple of cool sites to see there. Um, it's like a whole flooded forest that, like, from millions of years ago and a whole bunch of prehistoric trees, like, fossilized into these crazy-looking rock chunks, and it looks pretty dang cool to check out. So I'm going to check out that, and then I'm going to make my way to New Mexico and be doing some cool things over there. be camping in a really neat little area, so it should be a really fun video. Pretty windy and pretty cloudy out today, but should be a really, really fun one. I'm going to get changed, hop into the truck, and start making my way out of Winslow, Arizona and heading towards Petrified Forest. Let's do it. Should be a fun one. Stay tuned. Look at all of this petrified wood made to Petrified Forest National Park. Apparently these are all pretty much just fossilized chunks of wood from millions of years ago. I'll read a little bit more about the history later when I have reception, but... Pretty interesting. Tons of just random chunks of log everywhere that are millions or millions of years old. Pretty good. So I've checked out a couple of the main forests and pretty dang cool. It's pretty amazing to think about. There used to be, I think they were all formed from like a lake. They're like everywhere and the way they're like perfectly just in chunks, split in chunks everywhere. It's just crazy. But now I'm at a place called Newspaper Rock, which is famous for its petroglyphs. I, I've ever since being in the Southwest, there's so many of them and we don't really have them in Michigan. Should be pretty cool. I think you, you can't get up close to these ones. So I'm going to use this main camera and zoom up on them real, real close and see if I can, you can get some good video then. Alrighty guys, so I just made it through Petrified Forest National Park and it was pretty dang cool. Uh, some cool things to see. I, I think I'd, I'd probably recommend it. It was pretty dang cool, the history and stuff, and then the petroglyphs are really awesome. And But yeah, I just made it out and now I'm going to be making it. I'm trying to find a place to camp. I think I'm actually going to go for a Cracker Barrel tonight. I know Cracker Barrels, they do allow overnight parking. It's one of the few restaurants that allow it. And none of the Walmarts here that I've been able to find allow it. So. I think that's going to be the target. It's in the town of Gallup, New Mexico, and tomorrow is Sunday, and I'm going to be heading towards. I'm going to be heading towards Gallup, New Mexico. First time ever in New Mexico. I'm pretty excited. Um, I have to leave Arizona behind. I think I'm ready for the next big thing, and then yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to make my way over there, and yeah, I'll catch up with you guys over there. Pretty guys. So I made it to the town of Gallup, New Mexico, and I'm in th at the Cracker Barrel. A couple of other RVs here. You can kind of see. First night ever in a Cracker Barrel. It's pretty loud. As is a highway, like literally a few feet, feet from where I'm sleeping, but 
that's all right hopefully it's a good night um pretty dang pretty dang fun day but i'm really exhausted from the hiking i didn't get a ton of sleep last night in the yurt and yeah so i'm probably gonna head to bed pretty quick wake up fairly early tomorrow and make my way through new mexico and through the national forest we're taking a pretty remote route and gonna be spending a night somewhere fairly close to santa fe never been there before but pretty excited but yeah hope it's a peaceful night i'm gonna get to bed i'm gonna crash catch you guys in the morning Alrighty, alrighty guys, this is the next day. I slept uh, decent last night, it got pretty chilly and it was quite loud, but I've drove now nearly four hours to my next destination and I've got about 10 miles, or about 15 miles to go, left in this gravel road here in Santa Fe National Forest. Getting close to hopefully my pull off tonight, although there's quite a few campers here, so we'll see what happens. But look how beautiful this is, dude. Absolutely incredible. Dude, this place is beautiful. Feels like I'm almost in a different country. It's just been so different, New Mexico so far, than any other state I've been to. But it's been pretty dang pretty so far. But I'll catch up with you guys when I get up to my spot, hopefully for the night. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> well, look at this beautiful river. Just absolutely awesome. But look at this road. This is pretty dang sweet. It's got like cattle and stuff. It just feels like you're on a ranch in a different country or something. I'm loving this. This is really neat. Like, look at these just like green grass and plains. Like, it's just beautiful. So cool, dude. I want to get back on the road though, try to find a spot where the river's a little bit. Like, I want an overlook in the river. I just want it to be a little bit calmer and better for fishing. Alrighty guys, so I just made it to the Rio Shama campground. I was worried it was going to be closed, but it's not. And why couldn't Arizona just have this? Free dispersed campgrounds everywhere. It's amazing. It, look at this. This is just perfection. This is so much better than I was expecting. You get your own little pull-off. There's bathrooms over there. There's like two other people in this entire campground. Picnic table. Fire pit. Fire pit. Direct access to the Rio Shama. I'm not gonna want to leave this campground. This is insane. I can't believe how nice this is, dude. It took me about an hour to get back to the spot. It was like 10 miles, but it was just so slow and you just slowly work your way back here. But this is amazing. This is like this totally reminds me of Montana, Wyoming, even Alaska a little bit. This is great. I'm gonna get set up though. Alrighty guys. As you can see, I got my fly rod in hand, and I'm on the Rio Shama. I am uh, so excited. I'm already kind of mad that I didn't set aside more time to fly fish and camp here. Because, wow, this is so cool, dude. But I got a pretty nice looking run right up here. I'm going to try. Looks pretty dang good. I'm going to give it a go. I don't know. I've never fly fished. In, I've never even been to New Mexico, obviously. And I don't really know what to expect. I have no idea what it's hitting this time of year. Or what's the, what's the go-to fly? So it's just gonna be kind of a crapshoot. Throw big nymph, which is very versatile. I have good luck on them throughout the year. So we'll see how this goes. But this is a pretty decent looking run right here. I definitely prefer to fish nice clear water. But what are you going to do? I'm just happy to be out fly fishing. Alright, got the truck camper all set up for the night. And see, absolutely gorgeous night. It's sun setting right now, nice view. Uh, no luck fly fishing. The river's just so dirty. It's legit, like, that much visibility. It's pretty bad. But I think I'm going to try again all tomorrow morning and throw some, try a few different rigs, retie everything up. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight. I'm considering getting a campfire going, maybe, and then I don't have anything too crazy for dinner. I think I'm just going to do chips and salsa. That sounds pretty dang good. Yeah, beautiful night. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so after switching the searching the campground found a couple some leftover wood from somebody left pretty sweet got even some kindling and i'm gonna get a fire going got some napkins hopefully to get started a few small twigs to really get her going and let's get this guy going
if it came going. Got a bowl of salsa and some chips. Things are looking in the truck camper. Got a few things cleaned up. Looking pretty good. Pretty dang great, pretty dang great day. First impressions for the first time in New Mexico. Really, really liking it. Uh, the reason I'm actually up here in Rio Sharma is tomorrow at about one o'clock, I'm actually staying, gonna be staying for the next couple days at a place at a monastery it's kind of a it's a monastery and it's also kind of a ranch they got like animals and stuff they've got like a ranch house and they offer for guests to stay at and as i said my lat in the yurt video the last video i just i absolutely love very unique like just camping or staying in very unique places uh, i just love it especially in like remote areas like this remote and beautiful scenic areas and just you know doing switching things up and doing very unique things that i normally wouldn't be able to do so it's gonna be like a retreat. It's gonna be staying there for three days, living with monks. I actually found this monastery online. I spent I spent a lot of time just looking online for different places I can book and stay at. That's how I found the year. And I looked up just like the top, I looked up most unique places to stay in New Mexico. And this is one of the first places that popped up. So I found it, it looked really cool and I'm really excited for it. I'm, gonna be, I'm probably not actually gonna be filming much there just cause it's a retreat. And I'm gonna use it as a time to just completely unplug and separate from technology and put down technology for a couple days and just totally enjoy the peace and quiet and the simplicity of it all and fully embrace the experience without being on my phone and laptop and stuff so i'll probably show a few video clips of it but then i won't be filming much and then after that i'm gonna be heading down to santa fe and spend like five days down there fly fishing on the pecos river and that is gonna be the plan and then by then i only have a couple days left of the trip so loving new mexico so far pumped for the retreat for the next couple days and yeah i'll catch you guys in the morning hopefully it's a good night's sleep Alrighty guys, so I actually just left the campsite to go find a little bit slower water to fish. And mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Trout. Oh no! This poor cow, he's trying to cross the river to get to his other buddies. Look at that. <laughs> That's where I want to be. Woo! I had to take shelter here pretty fast, put an end to my fly fishing pretty quick. Had a pop-up rainstorm come out of nowhere. Look at that. No luck fly fishing. Kind of giving up. This water's just too dang dirty. All right, rain just stopped. I made some macaroni and it's a little after one. It's almost 1.30 right now and I'm gonna head over to the monastery. I'm gonna spend the next couple days living with monks. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also pretty excited. I've just never done anything. I've done retreats before and stuff, but I've never done anything really like this. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm not gonna be really filming, like I said, but maybe I'll show just a little bit kind of the grounds and the room I'm staying at and stuff. But yeah, let's see what happens. 
if I don't hear, see you again, then I'll catch you guys in three days or so. Get a few of my things in here. A towel, a couple pairs of clothes, and a jacket, water bottle, brick floor, this carpet here, and a really nice bed. Very comfortable, lots of blankets and sheets. Lamp, pictures on the wall, mirror, nice looking chair. Got my journal, ketchup on, book. pamphlet here for checking in and the schedule and everything. There's my view outside. That's pretty incredible, dude. <laughs> that view is not going to get old. And because it was the only room available, I had to pay extra and get the one. Most of the rooms don't have your own bathroom, but I had to pay a little extra because it was the only one available and got extra storage. And then I got a whole bathroom back here too. Got a couple toothbrush and shampoo. Nice little toilet and a little shower back here, which I haven't showered in like four days, so I think I'm going to be using that pretty quick. But yeah, that's the room. I like the design of it. It feels like it made just a little ranch house way back in the 1800s or something. Super simple, very nice and beautiful. some wildlife here. <laughs> Look at that. Alrighty, so this is the guest common room. A beautiful little room. This is just like a place that people can get together and be social if they want to and talk and a few things to do here. Got a nice little fire pit, nice couch. I love the view of the little courtyard there. Absolutely beautiful little garden. And then the cliffs out there. Gorgeous. Yeah, they got like pretty much like a little library here. A couple of desks and tables. A bunch of books on both sides. And then a whole kitchen. You need a snack, late night snack. I got waters. Looks like tea and coffee and stuff. Wow, this place is beautiful. Got a couple horses. Absolutely beautiful here. Quickly falling in love. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go, there's a gift shop and I'm gonna go check out the church and stuff. Looks like we got some storms coming in too. Oh, beautiful. Alrighty guys, so it is a couple days later and uh, wow, what an incredible experience. Uh, no way to really describe it, it was just, just so unique, but this place, the scenery is, I mean, second to none, it's just unbelievable. You know, ate, ate a main meal, the monks, they were all just like so soft spoken and so nice and they all had like a pretty good sense of humor too, which is pretty funny. And 
and all, like all the meals were in silence and you just it was a little awkward at first for me because i was like the youngest person there there's probably only like five or seven other guests staying there all from different stages from all over and they were all a lot older than me so it was a little awkward at first but i started to get into the room of the things that's probably a place i could spend it like two to four weeks or something but it was pretty incredible i'd highly highly recommend even if you aren't religious at all like it's just an incredible place to uh, totally reset and get away from the hustle and bustle and chaos of everyday life and just kind of reset and find some peace and quiet and just a much slower pace than <laughs> normal. Yeah, all that aside, if you want to come experience it, it's called the Monastery of Christ in the Desert. Um, people come from all over the country, um, all types of people, religious or not. So if you're just looking for a place to escape the world, highly recommend. Just so peaceful and incredible scenery. But I got to get back on the road and start making way, my way down to Santa Fe in New Mexico. And it's about an hour off this dirt gravel road to just get to the highway. <laughs> it's remote here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tons more to be coming. Really appreciate it. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, go. What's up? We got our little calves right now. Cute.